So in the past few weeks, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the script that I have on my Google Sheets. I've also received a lot of questions on how someone can go about adding this script to their Google Sheets. And basically the script, all it does is I kick it off at the very beginning of my M1 portfolio updates, weekly portfolio updates. And uh, it basically goes out to an API and gathers all the upcoming dividends for the tickers in my portfolio. And it just makes my life a lot a lot easier. So I thought it was time for me to put that effort that I've added in developing the script and uh, reverse engineering some of the logic on how some of the other websites uh, gather this information to uh, share it with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy it uh, because I really appreciate that you guys are subscribed to my channel and uh, hopefully you guys find value in it. What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei. You guys are probably really excited now that I've finally made the tutorial on how you guys can add this script to your Google Sheets. But uh, before we actually go ahead and go into the tutorial, I wanna show you guys my YouTube channel real quick. And uh, one of the things that if we go to the very bottom, you'll see the uh, playlist of the weekly portfolio update challenge. So basically I uh, upload a new video of the M1 portfolio on how it's doing on Sundays. And uh, the next thing is the other series that I do have going on is the monthly dividend payout. So at the end of every month, uh, we go out and figure out how much dividends we made for that month. And uh, if some everybody leaves guesses on the next coming month to see who's right. And then the last one that I have here is just uh, an extra playlist, which is probably where this video is going to fall under. So I do have two more playlists or two more series that I'm... Um, thinking about creating. One of the first ones is going to be uh, Weeble. So I created a Weeble account. If you guys are interested in creating a Weeble account, uh, be sure to use my referral link. You guys will get two free stocks and uh, they'll be up value up to $1,400. And uh, all you have to do is create the account and deposit $100. I recently opened an account and I will be doing option trading. So I'll be selling covered calls and covered puts. So I'm really excited about that see what we end up generating, how, how that goes. And then the second series that I'm planning on creating is, since you guys seem to really like about the Google script stuff, I think I'm going to be creating a uh, series where we try to create the best dividend tracker using Google Sheets. And uh, we'll see how that goes. What do you guys think of any of those series? Do you guys Are you guys interested in any of them? Let me know. And uh, I'll be reading the comments. But anyways, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed and are watching this, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified when we upload a new video, especially these new two series that I'm gonna be coming up with soon. If you guys are interested on in those, you'll be notified on that. But let's go ahead and get started with the full tutorial. So I do wanna demonstrate what the script does for anybody that hasn't seen it, and uh, that way they know what to expect at the end of the tutorial of this video. All right guys, so I wanna demonstrate what you guys would expect by the end of this tutorial. So we do have a Google Sheet, we just call it dashboard, but uh, it's got a couple queries in there and you'll have these set up by the end, but there's a sheet called tickers. And basically the tickers is gonna keep track of the tickers within our portfolio. Just for demonstrations, we did 3M, Clorox, Johnson & Johnson, Pepsi, and Microsoft. And so uh, you'll click up here you'll see a button called dividend tools you'll click on get upcoming dividends and then at this point you just wait a couple seconds and then it does all the magic for you so uh it automatically populates everything for you so johnson and johnson you'll know that it'll pay out june 9th and uh you'll see that there was a dividend increase this past quarter so they were paying 95 cents now they're going to pay a dollar and one cent so that's really nice and then uh, you can see that microsoft didn't do a dividend increase this past quarter or uh, 3m but you see pepsi did so it's really easy you saw how quickly and easy we can get all these upcoming dividends i find it very useful so hopefully you guys will also find it very useful and uh, while you guys are at it, be sure to hit that like button and uh, we'll start with the tutorial. All right, guys, so the first step here for us is I'm going to just assume that you don't know how to get to Google Sheets. But if you do, you guys can uh, just fast forward this or uh, just open up your existing Google Sheet if that's where you plan to add this dividend script or if you guys are going to create a new Google Sheet, it's up to you. We're going to just uh, create a new Google Sheet just uh, for this tutorial, but uh, open up google.com 
and then type in Google Sheets. Click on the first link and then uh, you'll have this option. Click on the go to Google Sheets and then it'll bring up any existing Google Sheets that you have. Or if you want to click a blank one, we're going to open a blank one. And uh, from here, we'll have a clean spreadsheet. We're just going to rename this to portfolio. And then uh, you can name it whatever you want. And then uh, down here, you don't have to name this. I just, I'm going to name it dashboard. Since I'm trying to get in that habit for this new series that I have, we are going to have a dashboard, which is going to be really cool. I'm going to have like a dashboard where it has the upcoming dividends and possibly the portfolio value and uh, some other stuff like uh, our current uh, dividends that, uh, you know, are graphed out. Um, and I have some other ideas which I need to actually draw out and lay out. But anyways, you'll create two sheets. We'll actually name this one called latest dividends. So you guys don't have to name it this way, but if you guys do change it from latest dividends, just rename, remember that name and uh, because we'll have to update that in the script. But uh, the next one you'll do is tickers. And then from here, I think we are good to go. So the next step for us is to actually open up the GitHub link, which uh, I should have that in the video description. And uh, let me go ahead and head over to that. All right, guys, so we're here at GitHub. And just for anybody that doesn't know what GitHub is or is their first time seeing it, it's just a way that you guys can host uh, any type of coding projects. And it's uh, really nice because it's version controlled, so you can go back in history, and it's really cool. I really like it. And uh, anyways, uh, you'll see here, this is basically the user. So my user is called Coding Sensei. And then the project is called Get Upcoming Dividends. So we are in this project. And one thing to consider is, I don't know when you guys are probably watching this video. This could be a year from now or two years from now. And possibly I've made changes to the script itself or renamed it or and you guys can't find it. So just be sure to look here. Make sure that uh, the link when you opened it up, make sure that it has three commits. And uh, it shows this type of uh, weird number, which is just the commit number. And uh, if you guys don't know how to get there, I'm going to go to, let's say you guys are open and it actually says master. I'll show you how to get to that point in time of the test repository. So uh, click on the commits. So this is how you get to that version, the point in time of that version of this video. So make sure uh, you find the one that says June 3rd, 2020. Uh, you might have to click down here like older if there's a lot of commits. So uh, once you find the June 3rd, 2020, make sure you see the one that says docs, read me, add Google sheet formula, click on this two arrows, and then this will browse the repository at that point in time, which is the point in time when we, uh, we recorded this video, click on it. And now you'll see this ID. So uh, you're good to go there. Uh, you should see two files, a readme and the JavaScript file. So uh, the readme basically just has a couple queries that we'll be end up using to the add to the Google Sheet later. But uh, click on the get my dividends. And then uh, you guys can either copy it this way, but I found the easiest way is click raw. And then it'll show up all the code and you just can do control A to select all the code and then right click copy and then we're good to go. So let's head over to the Google Sheet again. All right, so we're here at the Google Sheet, and the next thing you're going to want to do is click Tools, click Script Editor, and this will bring out a new tab with uh, like an editor. And then you're gonna delete the part here, and then you're going to actually right click, click Paste as Plain Text, and then you're good to go, go to the very top. So this is the very important stuff here. So you're going to want to update the spreadsheet ID, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get that real quick. The next one is the ticker sheet name. This is in case you guys renamed it or added a new name for it. And then the dividend sheet, which is the latest dividends. Uh, if you guys named that something different, 
The purpose of the ticker one is basically keep track of uh, all the tickers that you want to track on the dividends. So these are the tickers in your portfolio. And then the last one here is the latest dividends. This is going to, you guys won't touch this. The script will automatically handle it, cleaning it up and adding stuff to it. So this is just where all that new information of the dividends are going to be stored at in the meantime. And then uh, how, how you get the spreadsheet ID is uh, by going over to the spreadsheet, which let's head over to that. And uh, you'll see at the top, at the very top URL, you'll see docs.google.com spreadsheet slash D slash. And then at this point, you'll copy this ID here all the way to the slash, copy it. You'll go back to the code and then you'll replace this here. And then uh, that's about it. Click on the floppy disk to save it. Uh, this could be whatever you want to call it. We're just going to call it upcoming dividend. Click OK. So one thing real quick that I want to mention. So you guys will see that you guys can rename this if you guys are interested. This is just how the button shows up at the very top. And uh, the other thing here is you guys can add a couple changes here to where it automatically kicks off the script every time you open the spreadsheet. I don't have that enabled. But uh, you guys can do that if you guys are interested. That's just one thing to consider. Uh, so now that we saved it, uh, we should be good to go. We can close out of this tab, go back to the Google Sheet. And uh, at this point, let's go ahead and fill in the tickers. So we'll just say 3M, Microsoft, J&J, &J, Pepsi. I think that's good to go with those. Uh, tickers latest dividends will keep that alone because that's for the script and then um, the last thing here that we want to do is basically go back to the github repository and look at the queries so I'm at the github repository and I'm going to go down to the readme and we are going to copy this query here and then we're going to go back to the portfolio and let's say this one. So I'll click paste. And for some reason, it uh, colors it black for some reason. And uh, the other thing here is we will at the very top. So this one has the query, but right above it, we will create something like sorted by pay date and uh, then we'll we'll be good there the other query that we need to go back and get is the next one which this one is the one that's going to show us the tickers and we'll go back to the spreadsheet and then one right below it we'll paste it and then I don't know for some reason it's showing up as black so we'll, we'll clean that up and then uh, we will go back and get the last one, which is we want to sort some of them by the ex dividend date. So you'll copy this. And we'll go back to the portfolio and then I'm just going to do this at the at the same time at the first query level. So we'll just paste it here. And then again, for some reason, it's showing up as black, but then we're good to go. So uh, one thing is if you refresh the Google Sheet, You should see a button pop up, which is from the script itself. So there it goes. We see the dividend tools, click on this. Now you should see get upcoming dividends. So um, we'll click on this and then you should see uh, authorization required. So it's basically you need to give it permission for that script to run on this Google Sheet. Click continue and then you'll see a pop up. You'll click on the email, click advanced. And then you'll say go to upcoming dividends and just you'll say that you want to allow it to run. And then that's it to go. And then at this point, I think we can just click the script again and it should run. 
and uh, there it goes so now it ran you saw how quick it was and uh, we'll just clean this up we now that we know how many there are so at this point we will merge this center it and then we'll color it something something maybe like gray and then uh, we'll do this one so that it's sorted by x dividend and then uh, we'll also merge these right here center it color it something else so that's good to go uh, the last thing here is we're going to have to uh, make sure that these are done by percentages and then now it turns out to be a percentage the other one here is the dollars and uh, that's actually it guys so now you guys can go back in and add more tickers let's just add a couple ones more so like, let's say leg leg it in plat um, and uh, Northrop Grumman and then we can go back to the dashboard and then kick it off again and then uh, you'll see it uh, run again it's uh, pretty neat actually so now you'll see that it automatically filters out everything for you uh, so there's Northrop Grumman now it says that we got almost a 9% increase and uh, Leggett and Plaque and you'll see that it filters it out correctly for uh, the payout and then the X dividend date over here and then if you go to the latest dividends you'll see that this is where all the information is stored and basically we're just using these queries to filter out that information correctly how we want it uh, but uh, yeah guys if you guys see any improvements that can be done on this script let me know or if you guys want to see anything else added to the script let me know as well and uh, I'll be happy to read those in the comments and uh, yeah thanks so much for sticking through the whole video hopefully you guys uh, find this video useful and you guys can now make your life a lot easier with this script uh, so thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe hit that bell notification and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video so take care bye